Hi, welcome to the latest episode of the Hobility Channel. So for this episode, I'm talking about Huawei. A lot of people know about that Huawei actually is already free from the GMS. GMS actually, you know that it's a Google mobile service. That means that when you want to buy all kind of a Huawei product, it doesn't come with any kind of Google service, including the Play Store, uh, Gmail, and so on. Okay, and this is really inconvenient. Even though I'm an Apple user, I still using the Gmail. I still using the Google services. A lot of things like Calendar to synchronize all my daily job. So Huawei doesn't come with that. It's a kind of uh, what we call disadvantage for that. But as I mentioned it before in a previous uh, what we call video, I used to have an iPad because I need to have something a bit more bow so that I can go, uh, go with that. Okay, because I want to carry a laptop, but laptop is a bit heavy. <laughs> All right, so it's easier for me. I need a bigger screen to work on my the daily job. So that's why I, I, I let go of my iPad. So I still waiting for something new to come in to my life. So I try to search some of the, what we call the Android devices. A lot of people know that Android actually tablet is not a very good option. Okay, the reason is because of even Google themselves already, they already let go for the development and the improvement in the tablet. Now the tablet market actually is conquered by iPad. One of the reason is because of iPad and uh, the iPad and the iPhone, they have a two different kind of uh, operating system. The different kind of operating system. So the iPad OS and the iPhone OS. So it's a two different kind of operating system. So that's why, because it, when we use a tablet, when we use a tab, most of the time we were gonna use it in a landscape mode or horizontally. Okay, but when we use a phone, normally it's a portrait mode, vertical. So in the tablet form, you more always always use this form. So a lot of time that when you use an iPad, it doesn't cause any problem at all. But when you use a lot of uh, Android tablet, I have an Android tablet. Okay, it's a Sony a Z, Z4. Uh, that one I actually let my son to play for his gaming. <laughs> all right. So I find that the problem for the uh, tablet is a lot of things, a lot of hard software, the develop, software developer, they never develop and catered for the tablet. So although you can download and use it, so but it doesn't cater and doesn't make it just for the tablet itself. That's why you feel a bit, a bit odd. A lot of games and apps, a lot of time, you force to use a tablet in the portrait mode instead of landscape. So you feel very weird. Just like sometimes, just imagine this is a tablet. Sometimes you, when you do work, you turn on some kind of apps. You have to turn your tablet this way in order to use it because the apps itself doesn't doesn't able to rotate until the landscape. So you have to use a portrait. Then after they turn back to here. So it's really weird and odd. That's the reason why the tablet market is dead for the tablet. I mean for the Android tablet. So it's all conquered by the uh, iPad. But there's one tablet that really draw my interest. As I mentioned earlier on today, I want to talk about Huawei. It's a Huawei MatePad Pro. It's what I'm using now. When I bought this, of course, a lot of people say, are you okay, Sean? Because this is, doesn't come with GMS. It doesn't come with the Google services. Oh, it's all based on a Huawei own services. Okay. My 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 point is very simple. I, I use a lot of do a lot of paperwork. I do a lot of paperwork actually. Uh, like Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, presentation. Okay, I, I need to do a lot of this kind of thing. So most important for me is the mobile. You're able to bring this thing along with me wherever I go. So number one, it can be cannot be too big. Number two, it cannot be too heavy. I don't like big stuff in my bag of course, I mean, I don't like the feeling of that. I like to be mobile, it's easier for me. So before that, I considered about the iPad Pro, but the price is 
scary until I meet this guy. As you know that in Malaysia, actually the whole set of it, including the, they call it as an amp pencil and the keyboard, okay, and the keyboard, the whole set actually less than 3,000. You can get it. And for my, I've been using this around two months plus. You will ask me, shall we go for that? Please go for it. You were talking about gaming, all this thing. Yeah, okay, you can go for that. But I not for the gaming. I involve doing all the paperwork. Okay, the plus point of, the, of course, again for this video, I'm not going to talk about the spec. I'm not going to talk about the screen size, the resolution, what processor they use, how many RAM, so and so. No, no, no. It's purely based on my uh, user experience on this particular product. Shall we go for that? Okay, the plus point of this, number one, is so small. It's really mobile. It's really mobile, and the screen is big. Size is small, screen big, and the keyboard is comfortable. That's very good, and the pencil is good. Okay, that's the thing. Secondly, maybe you will say, hey, it doesn't come with the GMS. Will it cause any big issue for that? No. Because one thing good for that is, actually, uh, what we call the Huawei, right, they prepare something called as a uh, beta search which is this one. Okay, basically the beta search, right? Uh, you're able to search a lot of apps. It's all, first it's APK. A lot of uh, what we call as a third-party app store, okay, to download it. So far, so good, I would say. It doesn't cause me any problem at all. Whatever I need, I can find it. Whatever I need to use, I can find it. Okay, that one of the plus point for that. Without the GMS, is a problem. Yeah, slightly, especially like calendar. I'm not able to to, to what we call to sync with my Google Calendar. So whatever I'm going to do in my phone, I need to type again over here. That is something that disadvantage. But if you know and read Chinese word, Huayu, if you are familiar with that language, no issue at all. The reason is because in their Huawei app stores are here, they call it an app gallery. One of the plus points on it is you can change your region. Your, your initial region, of course, is Malaysia. In Malaysia region, the App Store doesn't come with a lot of things inside. No, not at all. Not much thing. I would say a lot of things you cannot find. Or they will say something like, for example, let me show you. Let's say um, I use a lot of Zoom. Okay, Zoom. Okay. You know for the net meeting. But you see it doesn't come with a Zoom. You don't have even the have also you can see from here i don't know where they can see it they will mention that it's not available yet it's not available yet okay but what you can do is you just have to change the entire table region okay you change the region okay from malaysia you change to china but when you change to China, of course, the whole app store will turn into in uh, Mandarin. So as I mentioned just now, if you can read Chinese word, when they change your radio to China, all kind of apps you need, you can find inside. Everything. Even I use the OneNote, okay, OneDrive, everything you can find inside. Seriously, no joke. Without GM GMS, it's not a big problem at all. That's my point of view. So, it's a good buy. Seriously, it's a good buy. Number one, it's not a problem at all. Trust me, it's not a problem at all. Number two, my personal experience is, so the moment I bought this, I already put on, this is very typical thing people will do on the screen protector or we call it as a tempered glass. Don't do it. I a bit regret of putting it actually, but uh, I don't know, I'm in dilemma on putting it or not. So, I put it because it will protect the screen. At the same time, it's not really good for the screen because of the pencil. You'll find out the pencil sensitivity will drop. Sensitivity, maybe because of the thickness of the glass. Maybe I need to find something thinner one. Okay, but I can't find it because uh, that's another plus point for Apple product. Lah. Apple product, you can find accessory anywhere. But this kind of product is a bit tough to find. But you, maybe you can find from Lazada or even Shopee. The sensitivity of the pencil with the glass on it it would drop a little bit, just a little. But without the glass, before that, without the glass, whew, I tell you, it's so good. I used Apple Pencil before. I would say that it's equally good. 
And another thing is, of course, it's the same design. I think they copy the design from the Apple. You just stick on it and you can charge the pencil. Okay, and the magnetic is not that good. Not that. I, I check from a lot of YouTubers, they say that the magnet is strong on this. No, trust me, it's easily dropped. Easily dropped. Even the, the, the this also, it's a magnetized. This is a magnet on it, but it's not that strong. A lot of people, I don't know why, what they're doing on the internet. They say, oh, this is very strong, even a drop. I think they only hold this thing maybe one or two days when they put the video on the YouTube as a reviewer. But I not to do that because as I say I put a point of view as a user, as a heavy user. This magnet is not really strong. Don't hold it just like that. It will drop. So it just it will drop easily. So magnet is not strong. Same with this. So this is easily will lose, and your loss will cost you I think two nine nine, two hundred ninety nine ringgit Malaysia. Just stick like that. And then lastly, one thing good about this. The battery, I tell you, the battery is marvelous. One charge, for example, last I used to have a, what we call the iPad. For the morning, I'll bring out my iPad until the night time I reach home. Maybe I would say that uh, in between, because I like to watch a lot of movie, you know, YouTube and this and that by using it. I would say at the moment I reach home, I will get around like 40% of battery of, of 50 sometimes, if you're lucky enough, for my iPad. This, this fellow, I use the same usage with the magnetic keyboard because the magnetic keyboard actually uh, they need power. The power of this is based on the tablet. Here, there's a magnetic form factor. So you just put it on. Basically, they use some kind of wireless charging that you will charge the what we call the, the keyboard itself. So without this, the keyboard it doesn't work at all. They need electric. It's a Bluetooth connection. It's made by Bluetooth. But with that, after the whole day of usage, I reach home around 70% battery. This is amazing. And I, I, I tried before, like I charged this thing actually, like tonight, maybe it's charged to 100%. I never turn off this thing. Even my phone, I never turn off my phone. In the tomorrow morning, I still get 100%. Can you imagine that? What's going on with that? All right. So my conclusion is, shall we go for that's why maybe I will consider my next phone will be a Huawei. I might consider about it because I quite like their product. I try look at that product actually quite often. But why I still didn't go for that again, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier on in my previous video about the iPhone. I read particular the name. I don't like the name Huawei actually. And this is my first Huawei product that I got. No regret. Good price. Good product. Functionality super good. This serve the purpose, and the most important thing, a value for money. No joke. This is really good. Of course, you talk about gaming all this. I'm not really sure. Doing paperwork not the issue at all. I even have my, as I mentioned, my Zoom account already logged into that. I already have my Zoom account. There's no issue at all. Okay, there's no problem at all. Drawing everything good. Okay, gaming wise, I'm not really sure. I can't give advice on the gaming because I don't play game on it. I don't play games at all on a mobile game. But other than that, paperwork. If you ask me, is this a laptop replacement? Almost. Almost. And because they're using USB-C, I just use a thumb drive and uh, external. Even I try with a USB-C external hub, it works. It can detect more than one thumb drive at the same time. <laughs> you can find this. iPad, you can't do it like that. IPad. Maybe iPad Pro can. I didn't try because iPad Pro is using USB-C. So, no good. I mean, Huawei, really good. Okay, so before I end this video, I just want to wrap up. Go for it. No doubt. Good product, good price. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you like our channel, please do subscribe our channel and do like our channel and turn on the notification bell so that we have a new video that you will get notified. Thank you very much. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. See you next round. Bye.